everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool um, state love uh, Christmas ornament. And this is just a little wooden ornament um, that I made using some basswood, I think, and my Cricut Maker. Um, so if you want, you know, this free template and instructions on how to make this, then just keep on watching. <music> Okay, so this is all that you need to make these wooden um, state ornaments. So you can kind of make a similar ornament with any um, state combination. So what you'll need is obviously a Cricut Maker. Um, I have mine in the pink color. Um, so you need the Maker because it can actually cut wood. And then you'll need your laptop or whatever for the Cricut Design Space. And then the wood that I actually used is basswood. So I used a 1 16th. Um, thickness of wood and this sheet is four inches by 24 inches long so you don't need it that long but it's nice to have it four inches across just so you can get like a big enough ornament um, and then if you I actually got this at Menards by the way and then if you want your ornament to be thicker since the basswood is very thin you can glue together to uh, make two copies and then glue them together so that's always a possibility and then you'll also need the Cricut knife blade. So this is just what it looks like. It doesn't come with the Cricut maker, <laughs> which, um, you know, I had to learn the hard way. I kind of thought it did. Um, and then you'll need a strong grip cutting mat. Um, I just have the 12 by 12 one, and you can see that I've already done the cut there. So for this project, you're gonna want to open Cricut Design Space. And I actually wanted to, um, upload an image of my Ohio um, state outline, which I have already done in the past, um, but I will go through the process of doing it again. So you're going to want to go find your image, and it's a simple image because it's just black and white, and that will make it really easy to... Um, erase the background. You just click on the background and it will erase the background. Well first we're going to save as a print then cut image actually. And we're going to click on it and insert images. So then we are going to want to add our text. So this is going to be the O, the last O of Ohio, um, but we're going to want to add the other letters and then you can change your font, go to system to see any of your uploaded fonts. Um, I'm going to try to find the font that I used last time. And it remembers this one. And then you're going to actually go to the advanced settings because you're going to want to move apart these letters and ungroup to letters. So now each of your letters can be moved around on their own. You're just going to move it around and some things you want to make sure is that you have letters touching so um, because you want it to be like one single piece together so you're going to want your O and your H to be touching a little bit and um, your I and your O to be touching and then your Ohio State is also going to just be touching a little bit and that makes sure that um, your, thing, your wood cutout is going to just be printed in one single piece. So once you have the configuration that you like, you're going to highlight everything in group because we want it just to be one single um, picture. And then you're going to size it up. I think mine's four by, like roughly four by four. And then you're going to want to make sure we have this group um, set to cut, um, which it looks like everything is except for the Ohio part. So just make sure it's all set to cut, the whole group. And we can also weld it, just so it's one single piece um, and we're just functioning as one whole piece. And there was actually one piece that I forgot to show you um, because I didn't do it last time, but we can try it out and see if it works. Um, and that's just to make a little hole for the string to go through. So last time I just drilled the hole um, 
and it worked great. Um, but this time I'm gonna just try and put the hole on there and see if that works. So we're gonna wanna slice this piece. So once you have your circle shape over there, we're gonna wanna slice the piece. And you can take your Ohio away and you're left with this circle. So we'll delete that and then we'll put this Ohio shape back. And now you should have a cutout uh, for your string to go through. And then you're going to click make it. And then the cutout is showing up there. Again, mirroring the piece. And we're going to find our material, which is a basswood. And it's 1 16th. And it's telling you to move the star wheels all the way to the right. So I'll show you that and I'll show you how to load the blade in the mat and then we'll get started cutting. Okay, so now we're at the point with our Cricut Maker that we're ready to load everything up. Um, one of the most important things are these star wheels. So um, the Cricut Design Space asks you to move them all the way to the right. So when you get your Cricut, they're gonna be spaced out and you're just gonna to wanna to pull them out all the way over to the right. And then you have to insert your knife blade. Um, so this is what the knife blade looks like and you just insert it into your B slot. So just open that up and make sure um, these ridges are aligning. Okay, that should all be inserted. And now we're gonna put the basswood on the mat and load it. So now we're gonna load the basswood onto the mat. So you have to use the Strong Grip Cricut mat and I'm just gonna remove the protective seal. You always wanna keep that on there. And then this is the basswood piece that I'm using. So I'm just gonna put it um, in the top left corner. And you're gonna wanna make sure you just really push it hard on there and then I'm gonna add blue tape to all. And we see here that we have cut two passes out of 14 recommended passes. So we have about 21 minutes left. See there are some imperfections here, um, which I didn't really get even the last time when I didn't mirror it. Um, but the last time I did do one additional pass, um, so that probably would make it a lot easier to get the wood to come out. So that's what I would recommend, do one more pass. Um, and I don't really um, necessarily see a benefit to mirroring the design. Um, you can kind of try it both ways. Um, but this is kind of what I got um, this time. This is what I got the very first time. So as you can see, the very first time is a little bit cleaner. But um, the circle that I did cut out did actually work quite nicely um, here. So that um, was a lot easier than drilling a hole. Um, and you could probably, probably make it a smaller size as well. And then um, if you want to kind of like glue them together or something like that to have a thicker piece, you could totally do that. Um, because of the imperfections, I think I'm definitely going to like stain or paint um, this piece before I give it away. Yeah. 